Okay, question one says what it's um 440444.04. So all we're going to do is we are going to write what it means, then we'll check which one is the correct answer. So this is this is four hundred and forty thousand. 444, 444, and we have 400, 100. Okay, so I think that's it. So let's check option A, 44. So option A is wrong. B says 440,000, 444, and Four hundred. Yes, B is the correct answer. But let's check our C. Four hundred and forty-four thousand, four hundred and forty-four, and four hundred. Okay. So um, I'm looking at B and um, C. This one says four hundred and forty-four. Okay, because it says four hundred and forty-four, so C is wrong. Then D says um, four hundred and forty-four thousand. 444,044 and 410. So this is wrong. So the correct answer here is B. Okay. So that will take us to um, question two. Now, question two says we should do this. So um, to solve this, change to improper fraction. So this is going to be 9 times 2 will be 18. That's 2, 7 over 9 times 2 over 5 all squared divided by 1, 2 over 3, all squared. Okay, now this is going to be 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 7 will give us um, 25 over 9 times. Now, this is square. Remember, when you're squaring anything in bracket, all the factors has to be squared. So, 2 square will be 4, and 5 square will be 25 divided by... Now, let's change this to an improper fraction. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2. This will be 5 over 3 all square now this will not be 25 over 9 times 4 over 25 divided by square this again this will be 25 over um, 9 all square okay 25 over 9 you don't need to square it any longer now remember we have the division sign here so the first thing we need to do is take out the division sign change it to multiplication so this is going to be 25 over 9 times 4 over 25 times 9 over 25. So 25 is going to cancel 25. Our 9 is going to cancel 9. And we have our final answer at 4 over 25. So the correct answer here is A. So I'm going to circle my A. Okay, so that takes take us to question 3. Now question 3 says, what is the value of 600.79 minus 40.79? 0032 plus 5.01 to the nearest hundred. Now remember your board math so you don't miss out on this question. What do you do? You do the summation first. So I'll do 600.79 plus 5.01. So this will give me um, 0, carry 1. This will give me 8 plus 5605. So I'm going to do 605.80. I will subtract 40.0032. So because there's nothing here, I'm going to add zero to make my work easier for me. Okay? So now, um, I will have to borrow one from here. Here will now become seven. I'll put it here. Then I'll borrow one from here. Here will become nine. I'll put it here. Then I'll borrow one from here. Here becomes nine. I'll put it here will become ten. Then minus two is going to give me um, eight. 9 minus 3 is going to give me 6. 9 minus 0 will give me 9. 7 minus 0 will give me 7. Then I have my 5 minus 0 will give me 5. 60 minus 4 is going to give me 56. Now the question says find this to the nearest 100. Okay? So to the nearest 100 means to two decimal plates. That's another way to say it. So we're going to approximate this 6. We're going to approximate the 6. So this will give us 565 points. Now when you approximate 6, here becomes 10. You take this one, this one becomes 80. So this is going to be our final answer. So the correct answer here, it's um, A. 
So A is the correct answer. So that will take us to question um, 4, which says, what is the total value of digit 9 in 3.45 times 0 0.27 times 0 0.3? So what we want to perform is um, 3.45 times 0 0.27 times 0 0.3. Okay? Now, this means for us to perform this, I will prefer to do this too first because it looks much easier. So this would be 0 0.27 times 0 0.3. The first thing I'll do is I'll take out my decimal places, 1, 2, then this is a 3. So total decimal place is 3 decimal place. So I'll do 27 times 3. 27 times 3, 3 times 7 is 1, carry 2, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2, 8, 81. Bring, um, 81. So this is going to, I'll bring back my 3 decimal place, that's um, 1, 2, and 3. So this is going to give me... Um, my final answer will be 0 0.081 here, okay, for, for 0 0.27 times 0 0.3. So, now, I now need to multiply um, 3.45 times 0 0.081. Now, how many decimal places do I have here? 1, 2. Now, here I have 1, 2, 3, okay? So, I'm going to take out... Five decimal place. This is two decimal place, and this is a three decimal place. So I'm going to have three forty-five multiplied by eighty-one. So this will be three four five. Eight times five will give me forty. So that will be zero. Carry four. Eight times four is thirty-two plus four. That's six. Um, I'll carry three. Eight times three is twenty-four plus three twenty-seven. So when I sum this up, it's going to give me five. 4, 3 plus 6 is 9, 7, and 2. Remember, we bring back our 5 decimal place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our final answer is going to be 0 0.27945. Now the question says, what is the total value of digit 9? So we want to look for digit 9. Now, digit 9, this is 10 tenths. Now, this is a hundred, then your nine is thousands. So, it's going to be nine over one thousand. So, our correct answer here is going to be C. So, I'm going to circle my C, okay? So, that will take us to um, question um, five, which says, what is the value of this? Now, the best way to solve this is split it, because... If you decide to multiply this, you'll get confused. You're going to waste your time. But when you split it into um, individual fractions of A over B, it's going to be much easier. Now, I'm going to do it this way. 0 0.124 over 0 0.032 times 3.84 over 0 0.62 times 1.1. Now, if you look at this, it becomes a lot much easier. Now, notice in this, there is three decimal place up and there is three decimal place down. Here, there is two decimal place up, there is two decimal place down. So, for me to eliminate the decimal place here, I'm going to multiply both up and down by 1,000. So, I'll do 0 0.124 times 1,000 over 0 0.032 times 1,000 times 3.84. Now, this one will be multiplied by 100 to remove the decimal place. Here will be 0 0.62 times 100 times 1.1. So, this is going to give me 124 over 32 times 384 over 62 times 1.1. Okay? Now, we can now divide. You can even see 62 can divide 124 because... 62 here is 1. 62 in 124, it's going to give us um, that. Um, 62 plus 62 is actually 124, so it's 2. Okay? So, 2 here is 1. And 2 in 32, it's going to give us um, 16. So, we have 384 divided by 16. Okay? So, we have 384 times 1.1 divided by... 16. Okay, so let's divide. 16 here, it's 1. 
16 into 38 is going to give us 2. That's um, remainder. That's 32. Remainder 6. 16 into 64 is 4. So we have 24 times 1.1. 1 .1. So I'm going to take out my one decimal place and multiply. Remember, this is one decimal place. 24 times 11. So this is 24 and this is 24. So I'm going to sum it up and I'm going to get 4, 6, and 2. So I'll bring back my one decimal place, which will now give me 26.4 as my final answer. So the final answer is 26.4. And the option is...